A very good evening and welcome to Harness Racing's Night of Nights, the prestigious Miracle Mile coming to you live from Harold Park in Sydney. Very shortly a crack field of six will attest the mile and uh, I can tell you the atmosphere is absolutely tremendous here. The stands are packed. There was breathing room only in the ring a short time ago. Certainly no room to open the form guide and ha have a little bit of a study. It doesn't seem that long ago that we were here watching the champion West Australian village kid go through his paces to see if he could become the first to win the mile twice. He didn't manage to do it that time, but there's certainly a lot of money to say that he can do it this time. I certainly didn't take the 7-4 on that was on offer when the betting opened, but I'm wondering if David Morrow did up in the commentary box. Well, Peter, I think most people know that I'm a self-confessed village kid fanatic, but tonight I've managed to put my hard-earned on my lightning blue because I think he's very good value at around about 7-2 to here in New South Wales. But obviously the, the crowd favourite and the punter's favourite is that brilliant little champion from Western Australia, village kid. But of course there's another Western Australian in this uh, race, one who most of the people in the West do give a chance of upsetting the apple cart, JB's fella. We haven't seen him here on the Eastern Seaboard before, trained by Greg Harper in Western Australia, driven by that magnificent rangeman Fred Kersley. Only had 32 starts, but possesses a lot of ability. Best time, in fact, 155.6, so quite capable of taking out the Commodore Miracle Mile. But to many of us on the Eastern Seaboard, as I said, he's, he's a new horse. So I asked Fred Kersley, how good is the horse? He's a pretty good horse, He's uh, and at his favourite journey, the mile, he's got some very good performances at the mile journey. Well, how confident are you of beating Village Kid into that first turn? Oh, at home I could hold him out, um, but this track is a little different. They tell me the first corner here is a little tighter, so I'm not confident of holding him out, really, but um, all I can say is that if we're racing on our home track, I would hold him out. So you've uh, got some sort of confidence of, uh, of holding him out there? Well, I'm keeping my options open. I don't think it's necessary to be in front to early to win the race. I think there's other ways, and I think it'll be a very tough affair. And if I don't lead, it won't worry me. Interesting words of wisdom from Fred Kersley. Most people expected JB's fella and Village Kid to be charging into that first turn. Well, number two is the other West Aussie, Village Kid. His record speaks for itself. The Inter-Dominion, the Hunter Cup, the Miracle Mile in 1986. In fact, he just he won just about everything. And of course, recently he won the Australian Pacing Championship in Perth to prove he's right back to his best form. In fact, he's going for his 13th win in a row. Trained by that amiable butcher from Fremantle, Bill Horn, driven by Chris Lewis, and uh, the third horse to pass the million dollars in prize money. 155.5, but where he's most notable is the fact that he can get out of that mobile gate so quickly. So uh, is Chris Lewis confident that Village Kid will be able to lead as clearly, as regularly as he has done so in the past? Well, uh, that remains to be seen, but uh, I think he'll get out pretty quick. Uh, I suppose it's the important thing, how, he, how fast he goes the last quarter. Well, everyone remembers how quickly he went in that brilliant Inner Dominion win up in Albion Park at the beginning of 1986. Uh, he went uh, in just over 26. Do you think that he can do it again? I can't see any reason why he can't get out very quick. Uh, it's hard to say he can come out that quick, maybe you can, maybe you can't. You know, uh, it's a, just a factor on that night, I think. Well, what about JB's fellow? He's drawn inside. We're told he also explodes from the gate uh, when he's given a chance. Certainly, he's a very quick beginner. I think Village is a quicker beginner than him, though. Do you think My Lightning Blue is the main danger? On paper, it appears that way, but you've got six very good horses in there, and I count them all as dangerous. Chris Lewis, who's had so much success, of course, behind Village Kid. He also drove the Inter-Dominion winner way back in 1976 on Car Clue. Well, the least experienced horse in the race is number three, Gay Adam, to be driven by uh, young David Aiken, who trains the horse out at Bankstown here in New South Wales, a famous name in harness racing. Has only had 14 starts, but has won seven of them and has won some of those most impressively indeed. But for many people in Australia, the horse is relatively unknown. So for those people in those parts of Australia who, who don't know how good Gay Adam is, I asked David Aiken for his assessment of the horse. Well, he's a, uh, I think he's a very good horse, David. Uh, he probably, he met the good horses here, our local horses, a couple of weeks ago, but tonight's by far his biggest test with the uh, other interstate horses. Well, everyone's talking about times between 155 and 156. Is Gay Adam capable of that? He's capable of running a very fast mile. How fast, I don't know. Uh, I, the fast pace will suit him, whatever, whatever time they'll run. Uh, he, he can camp on, I think, any speed and, and I hopefully he'll be running on. 
The second favourite, number four, My Lightning Blue. Of course, he brilliantly won the Inter-Dominion Championship in Christchurch earlier this year and a few weeks ago he backed it up with a scintillating performance to take out the New Zealand Cup. He's trained and driven by Jimmy O'Sullivan and look at that record. A marvellous performer and how confident is Jimmy O'Sullivan that My Lightning Blue can go quicker than that 157.7 tonight. Yes, he, he got beat in those in New Zealand, the free-for-alls, uh, sitting parked out all the way, and he ran the first mile in 56, and uh, for 2,000 metres, and he ran the first mile in 56, so I think he can go uh, a little bit faster here tonight. Well, how would you compare him, say, this time this year to what it was this time last year when he ran second to, uh, of course, the Master Mood? Oh, he's a lot more mature horse this year, and uh, he's had a fair bit of racing, and he's done nearly everything that's asked of him, so I, I feel that he'd go very well tonight. Number five is the outstanding South Australian Whirly Dream. He's had many starts and he's had a lot of wins. 50 in fact, trained and driven by Lance Justice from South Australia. And I'm just wondering whether Whirly Dream can better his best ever mile performance. And that mile performance, 157.1. I, I feel to uh, win the race or where he's got to run, he'll better 157.1. Well, he recently went to Perth for the Australian Pacing Championships. Uh, had a good victory over JB's fella. Uh, you fairly confident about tonight's race? Well, you can never be confident in such a good field with such good horses, but we're out there trying, we're going to do our best and uh, hope that we run a good time and, and win the race if we can. Well, one would think that Village Kid's the horse to beat. Just how good was his performance in winning that Australian Pacing Championship final? Well, Village Kid's runs, every, all three runs I saw of him in Perth, I was very impressed with him and I feel he's going as well as he was last year, if not better. And he's going to be the horse to beat for sure. Well, how would you like to see the race run? Is there any particular way uh, you'd like to see it run? Yeah, I'd like to see JB's fella out in front with Village Kid in the in the breeze and uh, us sitting back in the field getting a nice run for the last run of them. Well, the second most inexperienced runner in the race is the New Zealander Happy Sunrise, who really has burst on the scene recently. He's now owned in Queensland, trained there by Stuart Hunter, but tonight he's going to be driven by Ricky May. He's only had 17 starts, but he's drawn badly out in six. So with such a wide barrier, what is Ricky May's race plan for the big race? The faster they go, the better. <laughs> 26. What, are you going to drop in on the fence and just hope? Oh, well, yeah, possibly well, yeah. Just depends how good the village kid can go out of the gate, I suppose. It'll mean a lot. Thanks, mate. So Ricky May and all of the drivers in a fairly amiable mood. Over there you can see not much change except that My Lightning Blue has firmed up just a little bit and firms up as I speak. He's into about three to one number four but still the very pronounced favourite, number two, Village Kid, as the mobile gate moves onto the course at the, back of the, at the uh, top of the back straight and the horses start to line up for this, the 1987 Miracle Mile the race record, 156.1 held by Master Mood. The track record held by the brilliant popular arm in 155.9. And the Australian record, 154.3 held by Pro Chevalier. They're starting to move up behind that gate. They move round into the straight. And about 50 metres after they turn round into the straight, you'll see a big one. It says one mile and that's where the race starts. Moving up behind the gate, shortly we'll see the blue light and the starters say go for the Miracle Mile. Away they go and Village Kid burst out and so too did Whirly Dream as they come down towards the winning post the first time it's Village Kid and Whirly Dream. JB's fella drops in behind the kid. The next one gay out of My Lightning Blue Court three wide and behind those Happy Sunrise as they head to the back the first time and Village Kid gets his own way in front and gets it there pretty comfortably. Moving up on the outside the Iron Horse, the tough one, My Lightning Blue from Victoria. The other West Aussie down on the inside running third JB's fella getting into the 1-1 one, one, Whirly Dream follow then by Gay Adam and last of all is Happy Sunrise as they go through the first quarter 28.4 so they're going along very kindly in front and in front at the moment it's Village Kid he won the 1986 Miracle Mile and he's in a beautiful position at the moment to make it two in a row a half length away on the outside is My Lightning Blue JB's fella down on the inside running third and Whirly Dream in the 1-1 one, one. Gay Adam second last and Happy Sunrise is last of all as heads are turned for home with just over one lap to go as they come past the half mile 
peg and they're outside one minute at the moment. 31.7 that second quarter, very slow indeed. They hear the bell, less than a lap they go, and it's Village Kid and My Lightning Blue. The kid leads by half a length, running third, JB's fella on the outside in the 1-1 Whirly Dream. Gay Adams second last and last of all as they head to the back, Happy Sunrise. Village Kid leads by a length on My Lightning Blue. No change, JB's fella next, followed then by Whirly Dream on the outside. Gay Adams second last and Happy Sunrise last of all as they come now towards the 400 metre mark. Third quarter, 28.8, so the lead of the one to beat. Village Kid a half length now on My Lightning Blue. Happy Sunrise starting to come home very quickly round the outside. JB's fella in behind the leader trying to wait for the last crack at them. Whirly Dream in a pocket and Gay Adam right up on the steel on the fence. Around the turn, it's Village Kid. My Lightning Blue in the centre. Happy Sunrise down on the outside and JB's fella trying to get out of the pocket. Village Kid in front. Look at uh, Gay Adam moving up on the inside. But Village Kid's going to be too good. Village Kid! Village Kid beat JB's fella and Happy Sunrise. Gay Adam flew to be fourth, followed then by Whirly Dream and My Lightning Blue last. Village Kid, 157.7, the last quarter in 28.8. And so he's made it two miracle miles. And he now must for the logical favourite for the 1988 Fosters Inner Dominion scheduled to start here at Harold Park on March the 4th. The Commodore Miracle Mile for 1987 has been taken out by the brilliant kid from Western Australia. Village kid making it 13 wins in a row. Trained by Billy Horn, driven by Chris Lewis. He got to the lead so easily and from then on really it was a procession. My Lightning Blue was the disappointment of the race. And the two youngsters, Happy Sunrise and Gay Adams, certainly showed that they've got plenty of future in front of them. And JB's fella, I thought, may have squeezed through to get second with Happy Sunrise third and Gay Adam up on the fence would have been third. So the numbers probably will finish up being two, one, six, three. I thought Whirly Dream finished fifth and My Lightning Blue has probably finished last of all. But there he is, Village Kid, with Chris Lewis, and I dare say Bill Horn would be a very happy and ecstatic trainer. He's a great man and a great ambassador for harness racing. But really, what a horse this horse is. There's still a photo there for second, resting between JB's fella in the centre and on the outside, Happy Sunrise. I thought that JB's fella might have just lasted to get second. He was up on the fence trying to force his way out of the pocket. The number's about to be semaphored now. Two, six and one. Happy Sunrise, in fact, on the outside has got second with JB's fella third. So the official numbers for the 1987 Commodore Miracle Mile. Two, six and one. Village Kid first. Happy Sunrise second. And third, number one, JB's fella. As Chris Lewis brings the champ, Village Kid, back to receive the all clear to the accolades of the crowd. We might go back and uh, relive some of the closing stages of the 1987 Commodore Miracle Mile, which belongs to Village Kid. And there he is as they come down towards the winning post with a lap to go. And that's probably where he really won the race. They went so slowly that second quarter, 31.6. He won it with the jump. He slowed them down the second quarter. And from then on, nothing else had a chance. Well, as you can see there, He's going very easily, Village Kid. My Lightning blew a length away on the outside. You'll see Happy Sunrise start his run shortly. Now, JB's fellas all bailed up on the fence with nowhere to go. Whirly's Dream, Whirly Dream finishes up being caught in a pocket for a while, and Gay Adam with nowhere to go. But David Aiken realised that eventually Kersley would have to go on JB's fella. And he almost managed to sneak into a place. He really did fly home. You'll watch those yellow colours emerge in the straight. But as they approach the turn, and Chris Lewis is very confident, Around the turn he comes. My Lightning Blue's had enough. JB's fella trying to force out of that pocket. Happy Sunrise down the outside. And for a moment, Gay Adam looked a big chance of running a place up on the fence. But Village Kid comes down to the line and does it well. On the outside, Happy Sunrise has got second from JB's fella. And on the fence, Gay Adam has finished fourth. And there's Billy Horn, a very happy man. And Chris Lewis. The combination who've been so successful with that horse. In fact, Village Kid owned by G.D. Cox, C.A. Cox, Billy Horn, that's W.J. Horn, the trainer, and N.L. Horn, a bay gilding seven years, 
and he just keeps on getting better. And Peter Wilkins, I think, is about to get Bill Horn. Let's go down to the side of the track where Peter Wilkins, I think, is about to get... Yes, David, we've got uh, Bill Horn here. Bill, congratulations. What an effort. How do you, how do you feel? Absolutely ecstatic. Uh, the four of us that own this horse have really wanted to create history in this Miracle Mile. It's the greatest race, sprint race in the Southern Hemisphere. To be the first horse to win it twice and Chris to be the second driver to drive two. The money is great, the glory is greater. Yes, now too, uh, after last year's uh, well, disappointment, did you think of, uh, what were your thoughts then? I wasn't disappointed last year. They broke the record, we faced the breeze. I thought it was equal to any runner in the race. Uh, we weren't disappointed. We only wanted to crack to come back here and win it. Now this race tonight, the start, the key, and it turned out the way you planned. Yes, he started brilliantly. Chris, Chris brought him out really good. And uh, I think a great effort for, from Chris. He's a great driver. He's driven this horse into well over 50 wins. And I think it's a credit to him and the horse the way they've won these races. Perhaps we could go over and just congratulate Chris there as uh, Chris Lewis. Well done, a great drive, the start went according to plan. Yeah, it went out terrific. It began brilliantly and from there on in uh, it was easy going. And uh, no challenges, no dramas for you along the way? What was going through your mind? Well, I, all I had to do was get uh, one easy quarter and uh, we were home and we got that and uh, he did the rest. The horse is uh, just a uh, champion horse. A record breaker? For sure, for sure. He's given up counting how many records he's broken. He's just an amazing animal. Well, we'll let you go and have a few quiet ones at the presentation. First of all, with Bill Horn. Congratulations, Thanks Chris Lewis. Much. Tremendous drive. Thank you. Well, there it is. Uh, another miracle mile. What a classic. Village Kid making history with his second win. Only the first horse to win the classic twice. And, uh, well, a marvellous performance from uh, trainer and uh, driver there, Bill Horn and Chris Lewis. And a great call from David Morrow. Well, that's it for another year from Harold Park. The Miracle Mile will hopefully be back with you next year. On behalf of David Morrow up in the commentary box, Peter Wilkins wishing you a very good evening. Gay Adam coming up into three. My Lightning Blue four. Whirly Dream in five. And Happy Sunrise the outside. The mobile gate is rolling. And the field is moving up behind the gate for the running of the 87 Miracle Mile. Coming up, JB's fellow, Village Kid, moving up well now. Gay Adam coming in with My Lightning Blue. Whirly Dream and Happy Sunrise. They're all set to go. Stand by for a start. There's the blue light, they're racing, and Village Kid has begun very fast. So is Whirly Dream out wide, but Village Kid is going to go straight to the lead. JB's fella getting up on his back now. Gay Adam moving into the 1-1. One, one. My Lightning Blue out wide, going forward three deep, and last is Happy Sunrise. Village Kid has raced to the lead down the back, two lengths to JB's fella, and My Lightning Blue going up on the outside. A length away then comes Whirly Dream back on the fence. Gay Adam now, and a length to Happy Sunrise. Down the back they go the first quarter, 28-4. Village Kid able to steady now. He slows them up now. This second quarter to lead My Lightning Blue. JB's fella third on the inside. 1-1 one, one is Whirly Dream. Gay Adam back on the inside and Happy Sunrise is last of all. Well, he's been able to slow up in front. Chris Lewis on Village Kid and he's going to be very hard to run down. This quarter's only a slow one. Three quarters of a length. My Lightning Blue. JB's fella third in the 1-1. One, one, Whirly Dream. Gay Adam back on the inside and Happy Sunrise is last. Down for the bell now. And Village Kid is doing it very easily. He's jogging. Down for the bell in 31-7 that quarter he slowed up as noticeably my lightning blue on his outside a link to jb's fella whirly dream the one one gay adam nowhere to go on the rail and happy sunrises last of all 600 left to go village kids driving to be the first horse to win the miracle mile twice and he's doing it well three quarters of a length my lightning blue jb's fella locked away white whirly dream next and then gay adam nowhere to go and happy sunrises last of all up the back now and village kid piling on the power goes that quarter 28 
speed eight. My Lightning Blue sticking on well. JB's fella can't get out, then Whirly Dream. Happy Sunrise going up out wide and Gay Adams last on the rail. Village Kitty looks around. He sees he's got him beaten, I'd say. He's a length in front. My Lightning Blue's trying hard. JB's fella can't get a crack at them. And out wide, Happy Sunrise. But in the straight, Village Kitty's kicked away. He's a length and a half clear. JB's fella's getting clear. Happy Sunrise further out, but Village Kid is holding them. JB's fella and Happy Sunrise can't get him. And the champion, West Australian, is too good. Village Kid wins the Miracle Mile very easily. About three quarters of a length to JB's fella and Happy Sunrise. Fourth, Gay Adam. And then followed My Lightning Blue and Whirly Dream was last in 157.7. Well, he did it easily, Village Kid. Did it very easily, Village Kid. Never going to lose the race. From the time they went uh, 50 yards, he jumped in front. And uh, he never moved on him. Chris Lewis sat very, very quietly on Village Kid. Didn't have to move a muscle. And he was holding them safely all the way down the straight. He knew that JB's fellow was parked on his back all the way and was going to find it, um, was going to make things difficult for him by keeping him locked in all the way. He got clear with about uh, 50 or 60 metres to go, but uh, Village Kid was just being shaken up near the line and has held JB's fella uh, to win. Number two, Village Kid, to pay on the New South Wales tote 80 cents and 65 cents by Grammar 10 from Tatara Valley, trained by Bill Horn and driven by Chris Lewis, has now won 13 races in succession, his second Miracle Mile victory, and, um, well, he was never going to lose. Race by GD and CA Cox, WJ and NL Horner, Bay Gelding 7. And takes his prize money tally now to uh, 1,270,000. Um, 200, uh, maybe a little bit more than that. Almost $1.3 million. Very close to Gamalite's uh, record. Uh, Australasian record of 1.3 million. Two, Village Kid. Now, the judge has caught on the photo for second and third, and it's very close between JB's fella and Happy Sunrise. Uh, JB's fella got a split near the line. He was going to the post strongly. Happy Sunrise on the outside, right there with him. Now, here are the miners coming to hand. After the uh, photo six, Happy Sunrise has got second, Ricky May. And number one, JB's fella, Fred Kersley, third. Two, six, and one. Village Kid, Happy Sunrise, and JB's fella. And the winner coming back to a great welcome uh, from a very, very big Harold Park crowd. Village Kid, number two, Chris Lewis. Six, Happy Sunrise will pay $1.60. No third tote for one, JB's fella. The margins are about to be posted three metres by half a head. Three metres, half ahead, 157.7. And the quarters were covered in 28.5, 31.6, 28.8, and 28.8. The last half, 57.6. How are they going to come around him and beat him with a last half of 57.6? An impossibility. OK, Kevin Thompson, thank you for that uh, exciting call of the 1987 Miracle Mile. Now, Peter...